Hello, I've just got a couple of paintings to show you today. As usual, things didn't go exactly according to plan. I was only planning on doing one for starters. So for this first one, I'm using Bayo Hong cold pressed watercolour paper, a Princeton Neptune brush, and I'm using my new Mission Gold single pigment paints. I'd heard that some people think the Mission Gold paints were too vivid or too highly pigmented and created unrealistic colours. So I was interested to try them out and see how I got on with a landscape picture. I've got the 24 pure pigment set and I actually found them fine to do colour mixing with. All of the paints in this video are made from mixers from the pure pigment set. In this painting what I found harder was getting used to the cold pressed bare hung paper. It's their academy one. It's quite a bit rougher and thirstier than other cold pressed papers that I usually use. I think it's good paper, I'm just not very used to it yet. So I planned on doing big loose washers, but my painting ended up being kind of drier and a bit tighter. And so I ended up with a more detailed painting than I'd planned. I hadn't drawn this in pencil first and I got my proportions a bit wrong. So I ended up needing to change where the horizon was. I'm quite impressed with the point that I can get on the soft Princeton Neptune brush. I then let the first paint layer dry and go in with a second. I think I'm painting these headlands in the wrong order. I should probably have started at the back and worked my way forward as each one dried. I'm just kind of working things out as I go along with my water colouring. This is the St Ives headland that I'm painting now in Cornwall. My reference photo is one that I took on Monday from St Agnes Beacon, the hill in my village. Down scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sight. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine. When my second paint layer is dry, I use a smaller Princeton Neptune brush and do some more detailed painting. Heading for the western shore, while the sun is slow, it fades. Days are full, and I spend them with you, so let's go somewhere far. So this is my paint layer pretty much finished now and I don't mind it but I want to add a bit more contrast and movement to it somehow. So I decide to add some details with Derwent Pastel pencils. I'll speed this section up now. I also add some Rembrandt and Jackson's own soft pastels. 
and some Posca acrylic marker. Here's a close up then. I feel like I lost some of the nice watercolour textures that I'd got originally, but with just the watercolour it seemed a bit too bland. So I need to find a happy medium between bland and overworked. Because my first painting wasn't as splodgy as I'd been looking forward to, I decided to get out my large A4 art creation sketchbook and do a much splodgier, faster version of the same picture. I then add soft pastels. So here's my much faster, scruffier, more fun to do one. I am as usual really glad to have done this art practice. And it's also the usual mixture of bits that I quite like and bits that I don't really like. I am really grateful for you viewers though and for your comments and interactions with me. I do feel like it's really encouraging me in this year's attempt that I'm making to engage much more with art. I'm definitely losing a lot of that fear of putting pen to paper or brush to paper. And I hope that anyone who needs it is encouraged to do the same. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.